Remember the HTC U campaign? Yeah, that was eight years ago and is still considered one of the most brilliant marketing campaigns we've all seen. It focused specifically on serving you and that's exactly what the company is seeking one more time with its new product lineup. I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now and we recently had an opportunity to play with the HTC U Play and U Ultra. Alright, disclaimer, we are usually allowed to film devices whenever we are at HTC pre-briefings, but for some reason, recently in Las Vegas, uh, we weren't allowed to film the new HTC U Play and U Ultra. We were only allowed to take stills of it, but uh, we negotiated being able to put together a video showing these stills. There are a couple of changes that HTC wants to flagship during 2017. The first one is a new approach to artificial intelligence where Google handles the back end of everything that's focused on audio, like in the case of the Google Assistant, and the HTC has this new HTC Sense companion that is now focused on making applications smarter. And yes, we do get two new devices in addition to this new approach, the HTC U Play and U Ultra. HTC claimed that it's kind of tired of playing with aluminum and it's wanting to try something new with glass and even sapphire in certain cases. We've got new color options, brilliant black in addition to cosmetic pink, ice white, and also sapphire blue. Now, even though we do have the U Play, the company barely talked about it. It does follow the same design language of the U Ultra mostly, but obviously the U Ultra is the flagship. So in case you need specifications for the Play, there will be a separate post being pushed live at the same time of this video with information on specifications. In the case of the U Ultra, we have the premium flagship 5.7 inch, Quad HD display that uh, sports uh, Super LCD 5. And uh, yeah, what you notice at the top is actually a separate display. This is a two inch display that has the same pixel density as the rest of the glass. And the great thing about it is that, yeah, you're pretty much looking at an LG V20, but that's where HTC is doing things differently. Remember that the approach from the company is now to make applications smarter. So the idea for this separate display is to help the HTC Sense Companion provide you notifications that are catered to your priorities. Remember, it is focused on you, so it has to learn from you. You'll teach it what your favorite contacts are, favorite applications are, which applications you actually want to get interrupted by, and this screen will actually provide those specific notifications. It is a very genius approach that obviously we will have to try to prove if it is not even more intrusive than every other focus on notifications you can get from other manufacturers. In the rest, we have a standard flagship. What you see is a Snapdragon 821 processor in addition to four gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage if you go for the Gorilla Glass 5 option. There is also a 128 gigabyte Sapphire Glass version. And uh, this Sapphire Glass is actually only at the front. It's not available at the back, but obviously the company is trying to provide users with a more premium approach to this smartphone. And uh, when it comes to the cameras, we pretty much have the same combo that we saw in the case of the HTC 10, which is not bad. We have a 12 ultra pixel camera at the back at f1.8 aperture. But what makes the front camera cool is that even though we have a 16 megapixel camera here at the front, it can then become a four ultra pixel camera if you also want to, if you want to provide better performance in low light. We still can't confirm if this will be optically stabilized like we have on the HTC 10, but uh, that's also an option. And in addition to that, we also have other approaches to making the phone smarter. For example, since uh, the Google Assistant will play a big role in artificial intelligence, the company is providing four new omnidirectional microphones that apparently are even capable of biometrically unlocking your phone. We can't wait to test that. And if you're wondering where are the stereo speakers, we have the same HTC Boom Sound Hi-Fi Edition, the same we saw with the HTC 10, where the top is a tweeter, the bottom is the woofer. Overall, my impressions of the HTC U Ultra and U Play are very positive. These phones feel amazing in the hand. The design is exactly what you come to expect from HTC. And what we were able to see from the user interface is also something that we do enjoy. It looks a lot like the HTC Sense that we know, but uh, there are a couple of things that we weren't able to test because the software is not final. So definitely there is a lot more to come from HTC. And uh, we are hoping that it's not just these U Ultra and new place smartphones. The company kind of teased that we should be expecting more from the company in 2017. And let's just say that this is a very positive start. 
That's it for our impressions of the HTC U Play and U Ultra. Let us know in the comments down below what you think about these new devices. And while you're at it, make sure you also follow us on social media and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.